Now you're at the point where MSC Nastron has successfully performed the optimization. You have new dimensions for your structural members. At the very beginning, you started off with one BDF file that was purely used for structural analysis. You then went through the process of performing and creating your optimization model. So that would be this file, the Solution 200 version. But now you want to create an, a new version of the original bulk data file that includes the new uh, dimensions for the structural members. So here I'll, I'll go ahead and create a new version called uh, updated uh, dimensions or optimized dimensions. And then this is method one. So now let's go ahead and discuss method one. But before that, let me go ahead and uh, put my contact information here. If you're interested in more advanced training, if uh, you personally want to work with me on an optimization project of your own, uh, I'd be more than glad to share my wisdom with you. My email address is there. And I think I'll leave it up there actually while we discuss the various methods of uh, updating our bulk data file. So method one, let's go ahead and explore how to do that. During our first optimization process, if you look inside of our design model dat file, at the very bottom, we have this parameter, param desbch1 negative one. What this does, it prompts MSC National to create this punch file. Inside of the punch file, our updated structural dimensions. Let me go ahead and open the optimized version that we want to update. So here I'll move this punch file to the right. And here, this is our original bulk data file. If we scroll uh, down the file, we find the P shell with the original thickness for the plate and our PB PBRL with the original thickness for the beam cross section. Here on the right again are the same properties but with the optimized dimensions. So what we can do here, we can copy over from the right to the left and just paste in or replace and paste the previous uh, properties. So the P shell is going to go ahead and move from the right and replace this one here on the left. So now what I'm left with is the original BDF file, but it's now updated with the new dimensions for the structural members. So that's method one. Let's go over a second method. So I'll go ahead and copy the original bulk data file with the old structural dimensions. I'll move it here so it's right underneath uh, method one and I'll give it almost the same name, but this time I'll call it method two. And I'll go ahead and open this stat file. This is method two, and you can see that it has the old dimension values, and now we'll go through the process of using the second method. I'll go ahead and delete my old optimization files. I'll open this uh, optimization model, and then I'll include this new line called echo equals punch new bulk and uh, make sure there's only one echo in the case control section. Let's go ahead and save this dat file. What this punch new bulk statement will do, it will prompt, prompt Nastran to do the following. Let me just run the optimization and wait a moment for the new F, or the new punch file to be created. And here's a new punch file being created and in a moment. Okay, so it's finished the optimization. Let's go ahead and open that in Notepad. I'll move this to the right. And now you can see the punch file is a little different. Oh, one thing I should add. Um, is I forgot to carry over the new C-bar elements. Uh, so make sure to do that if you're going down this uh, method one process. Uh, so in addition to moving over the PBRL and the P shell. Uh, I should have really moved over the C bar elements, or actually, I think I'll take time right now to do that. So I'll open the method one dat file. I'll find my C bar elements, and you see they have the old offsets defined. 
we'll go ahead and just copy these and replace those for method one. Okay, good. So my method one dat file is properly updated. Now let's go ahead and jump back to method two dat file. Now here at the top, this is the same data that was produced by method one. Here, you'll find the data produced by method two. Again, method two, it's prompted by this echo equals punch new bulk statement. What this statement does, it essentially duplicates or it reprints the old bulk data section. So here you can literally see, if we start at the bottom, a param auto SPC, param auto SPC, SPC one. So it's duplicated all of those entries, but there's something special it did in addition to that. If we look at the PBRL and the P shell, the PBRL, the thickness of the cross section is not 0 0.08, which is the optimized value. But here on the left, it's the old original optimization. So what the statement did, it just recreated the bulk data section for us, which is perfect. That means I don't have to go ahead and copy this uh, from the right to the left. What I can do now is go to the very top. What I can do is delete the results from method one. Uh, you can see here it's also included the design model statements and the reason is because in our solution 200 version of the file, we have this include the design model. And if you recall, the design model had all of the design uh, optimization statements. So of course it printed those first. And then right after that, it printed the parent post one. So here, if I look at where parent post one is here, it printed parent post one. So what I can do is also delete all of these design model statements right until, or I'll just delete everything. So now here on the right, it's 90% the uh, bulk data file on the left. So then what I can do now is just copy everything from begin bulk all the way to the top, excluding the CSV output statements and paste that here. Let's go ahead and uh, view this again. So here, my case control section, like the original file, that would be this file. And then the big bulk data section is now updated with the new P shell and the new PBRL, which are defining uh, the dimensions for the structural members. Now, method two is a good method to use when you have multiple properties that have been uh, modified. So in method one, you have to copy and paste from right to left each individual property, which is okay if it's just uh, one or two properties. But once you're dealing with 10, 20, 40, 50, it just becomes easier to use method two where it reprints the bulk data section for you. And then all you have to do is just update the top section. So it's uh, essentially the same bulk data file as before. All right, now let's go ahead and I'm still in the punch file here on the right. Uh, I'll go ahead and save this to my desktop and I will purposely replace the method to bulk data file. So let's go ahead and um, overwrite the previous method two file. Perfect. So just to end this video, open both these files side by side. So just to recap, at the very beginning, we started with this initial BDF or DAF file. It was a linear static analysis and it contained the old dimensions for the structural members. We then perform our optimization as I detailed in separate YouTube videos. 
We then explore the use of the punch file. We explore the use of two methods, methods one and two. We then produce a new updated BDF file using method one, a new BDF file using method two. And you can see that uh, we produce the same result. So you can see and compare the files. It's essentially the same thing. Again, method one is a good method to use when you're only dealing with a few dimensions that were updated. But once you're dealing with dozens, maybe hundreds of structural dimensions that were changed, method two will probably be the best method for you to use. With that, I'll go ahead and pause there. Again, my name is Christian. If you have uh, any questions, if you want more training, feel free to reach out to me. My email address is there.